Okay, so we are down at our last plate, which is exercise 15, which you will be familiarizing the ellipse command. So let's go to our um, AutoCAD. So the ellipse command, you can just type EL for ellipse, or you can use this icon to get your ellipse. So for us to do that, you have to have your um, center of your ellipse. So you can draw um, your ellipse, you can indicate the size of your ellipse, so on and so forth. So before we do our plate, let's create this one. So we need to create an ellipse with a dimension of 80 and 60. So let's create first our center line for the reference point. Let's use a construction line for that one. I'll activate my ortho. Okay, so let's use this as our reference point. Now let's have our ellipse. Let's have the center. Oh, there are three different ways to draw your ellipse. The center, the axis end, and the elliptical arc. So let's just use the center. So click the center. Now let's have the dimensions. In our plate, we have to get um, an 80 length and a width of 60. So let's start with the length. For this point, we are asked for the radius. Um, so half of this one. So we have 40. Then for this one, we have 60, so that is 30. Now we already have this outer ellipse. Now let's create this one with a distance of 10 center we have 30 and we have 20 so we have this one and this one now let's create this objects now for us to be able to do that let's create um, a circle with a radius of 2.5 and a radius of 1 circle Let's create a radius of 2.5. Let's zoom in. Let's create another one with a radius of 1. So for us to be able to combine this two, let's have this. Let's move this one. Okay. Now let's trim. Okay. So for us to have an easy highlight, because if you're going to click this one, it will just highlight the um, um, each circle. So let's group this to do that. Highlight everything. Then type GR for group, and you have that one. Now, we have to distribute that one here. So for us to do that, let's create um, a path so we can array it later on. So let's create another ellipse. This time, that was 30. We have... 35 and we have 25 okay now let's copy this one and center now let's do the array for this Where's my array? So we have that one. In our case, alignment, let's undo that one. 
Measurement. Let's go to measurement. So it will be divided equally. So we can put the number of items. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's put 10. So there are 10. Let's close this one. Now let's move this. Here. Okay, now we have this one, but in our case, we have to have this direction. So, how to do that? Let's rotate this one. I'll undo this. follow this direction I'm just clicking enter Same thing. You select, then you click. Uh, I mean, you select, then you enter. So you can repeat the command. Okay, now we are done with our drawing. Oh, for this part. Now let's create this, um, even the circle. Let's have the circle as well. Going back, let's just offset this one. We have five. This one and this one, okay. Then let's create the let's delete this one. Let's create um the circle. So we actually have a radius of twelve point five. So let's have a line here. Oops, let's Activate our object snap or a construction line would be better. Okay. Now let's offset this one. Let's offset this one to 12.5. Okay, so this will be the reference point of our circle. Now we have to have a circle of 2.5. We have 12.5. Okay. Now we have those. Okay. Let's move you here. Now let's <clears throat> fill in. Okay, so for trim. Yes, let's trim that one, the radius. Let's start here. The radius for this one is 4. So we will have 4, type 4, then you enter. Then you select. Enter again. We have that one. Then fillet again. This time we have... 
two. So this one and this one, again this one and this one. <coughs> Next thing is this and this. So let's have Philly. The measurement of the radius for this one is 5. <laughs> let's see what happens. So you have that one. And this one as well. Okay. <clears throat> now let's trim. So there are instances that you cannot trim certain portions. See? You see what happened? It created a gap. So what do we do? Undo that one. So for us to be able to trim that one, since this is a whole segment, because it's an ellipse, you zoom in, you see that gap. Let's create a line for that one. And now you trim. What do we do next? Now you gap, I mean, you connect it to that point. Do the same thing on this portion. Line. Okay, let's trim. Okay, zooming in, did it that one. Let's connect this one here. There you have it. Now the next thing to do is to create this um, star. So to do that, what, what we have to do is create a polygon with five sides. And let's look for center of this circle oops I cannot locate so let's move this um, let's offset this one to 12.5 oh, there you have it again polygon five sides enter inscribe in a circle so this one has a diam ah, a radius of 8 so let's enter it. Okay, now we have this one. <clears throat> what do we do? Let's just delete this one. Let's create a polyline. Then draw a star. Okay. Now let's delete this. Um, trim, trim this one, forgot there's a line there, okay now you have the star, so the next thing to do is, we're done with our figure, now let's have the dimensions, <coughs> sorry for that, this should be 80. This should be 60. Okay, we have that. Okay, let me delete this one. We have then now let's create <clears throat> the radius we have this is 12 oops for the circle of this one I forgot let's create this one's 8 
need to create a reference for the dimension. So let's trim the other areas. This one, this one, this one, this one. Now let's make this as hidden line so that it is not part of the drawing. Let's have this radius. We have eight. Um, we also have, I'm just clicking enter for this one. This 2.5, this one's 1. Um, we also have this as 4. This one is 5. And this one is 2. So we have our figure. <clears throat> now I'm going to teach you another command called the hatch and the gradient so this one hatch um it creates color enclosed um figure so make sure that all your boundaries are closed because if it's if it's not closed it will be creating um a wider um selection so if you already have that one you can just close or click somewhere else for gradients you can choose this. You have options here. You can actually change the colors as well. If you want to make it pink, um, yellow, um, green. I like green. Somewhat like that. So you can just click there. So if you're just going to click one by one, if you want the same color for each, then you click and enter. But if you want to like have it um, all over, you can see, you can observe this one. But the color changes because it's considering everything as one piece. So I don't want that one. So I'll just close it and undo that because I wanted it single part. So again, the gradient. What did I choose? This one. Just that one instead. Looks nice. So I'll just click enter. Enter again. And enter. Enter, then click. The figure enter it's just easy you just click enter click enter now you already know much property so there are times if you want to edit this one if you want to edit the color just edit one and just click it so that's how you do hatch and gradient so Yep, if you want to choose any type, there are all other textures here. You can use this. You can have that honeycomb feature. Anything you can do. So, it's up to you. You should be creative. Um, so, this would be your plate number 15. 